Hello and welcome to LT72. This is the second part of the video how to use UDT. In first part we learned how to set up the user defined transform and how to run some python in it. In this video we will see how to pass input to our python script and how to output result. Alright so this is our flow that we have made in our first part. First we will create a variable. For this we will go to the tools variables. Right click on global variable and insert. Double click. Let's name our variable flag. Okay. Now we will add a script here. Connect it with the data flow. Double click on the script. Now we will use our variable flag. So in this variable we will store anything which is totally depends on our use case. Like we can fetch a value from table like this. data store name and your SQL query like select student name from table name where role number equal to 1 but for keeping things simple uh, we will not use this we will just assign value to to our variable now we will go to the data flow so for adding the input we have to add one query transform now we will remove this link connect row generation with query transform and query transform with user defined transform ok now we will add our input on query click right click and add new output column name it in a it should be int ok now we will map this column with our variable that we have created flag ok now one step back go to the user defined transform now we can see our input variable flag so what we will do we will first go to the input tab drag and drop this ok so now we can access this variable in our user defined transform go to options edit option python express editor and then launch python editor so we will first remove the old code now let's take a variable input flag here we will take our variable that we have defined that we have assigned with the value 2 for this we will use record get field function unicode and the variable name this is coming from the query transform ok we can also print this let's validate ok 
go to the job level now we will validate all okay so no errors found now we will run the job okay so here we can see our input variable value that we have assigned to okay now we will see how to output things from user defined transform to this target table first we have to go to the python editor okay so for output first we will go to the input output tab and now we will create two output so earlier in part one we have created this output so now we will delete this and we will create two fields like two columns so it's a let's name it multi 255 and this we can leave blank let's create one more field words field size should be 255 okay now we will add some python code so these two fields will act as a column in our table uh, our table will have two two co columns one is multi and other one is words so let's write some python code to fill these two columns so here we have created one row object and now we will assign the value to this row so first let's create some value so here output should be string only and the variable we have taken as an input we have to convert it to int if we want to perform some arithmetic operations on it so if if you are wondering what these two lines are doing so it will in the loop it will print 2 into i like 2 then again 4 then 6 then 8 and so on and the second one is a string like this 2 into i means 2 into 1 then 2 into 2 so in first column we have we will have this values and in second column we will have this values okay so now let's add this value to our row so for this we will do new record dot set field column name so our column name is multi then again unicode and value so we will pass value multiply okay and then second column should be second column is words it should be filled with so in our row object we have filled the two columns now we will add this row to our table by calling collection dot add record method so let's validate all place mm -hmm. one error okay, so here we have missed some parentheses now we will validate all 
click on OK then again OK so now we'll come to our output field we will add these two output variable that we have created we will remove the old one ok so everything is done we will go to the job level validate all ok now we will trigger the job so it's completed let's check our target table ok so when drawback is uh, we are getting the first listener so we can easily remove this by adding one more query transform we can use the python scripts for instance when we are working with the flat files we can directly read the files using python and apply some logic that will difficult to implement in data services